Hey guys, Keith here from Injector Rehab. Today's video is going to be teaching how to use a Teflon compression seal tool that we sell. Uh, this is to replace the compression seal on the bottom of your GDI injectors. Um, if you don't have this tool, you're going to have to need to take it to a dealer to have it done. Uh, the price of this tool is way less than having the dealer do it and you'll own it and be able to uh, use it whenever you need to. Uh, anytime the injector is removed from the engine, this process needs to be done and those seals need to be replaced. So this isn't a one-time use tool. It's going to be very helpful to you if you own a car that has GDI injectors. So let's get into the video here and I'll show you how simple the process is. So there's not much that you're going to need. You just need the injector here to replace this seal that's going around the bottom of the injector. Uh, you're going to need a blade and a pick. The blade you're just going to take, make a little slice into the seal. Make sure it's all the way through. And get your pick and just pop that little seal out of there. A lot of times it's just going to crumble right in your hand. But once it's removed, we're going to have room now to put our new Teflon seals on. That They don't fit over top of the injector. So in the tool, we provide you with a cone-shaped um, device that you put over top of the bottom of the injector, which allows the seal to expand over the injector and then seat into the injector itself. So once you get the seal pushed up the taper end by hand as much as you can, you can then use the one end of the tool to slide the seal, expanding it over top of the tip until it is over the injector at which point the tip can be removed and now the seal you'll see is extremely loose fitting on the injector and it needs to be compressed this is where we take the other end of the tool which has a taper inside the reverse of the taper that we just gave it to get it over it and we're going to compress the seal in place it's going to take a few attempts of getting down a little bit further compressing it you may need to let it just sit there in place and compress the seal before you can get it fully on and compressed once you get it to the very end you can let the tool just sit there compressing the seal so after you've let the injector sit for about 60 seconds with the tool compressing the seal, when it gets all the way to the end, you can then remove the tool and you'll see that the seal is properly seated and it's ready to be installed back into your motor, nice and smooth. So as you can see in the video, it's a pretty simple process. You just need to make sure that you have the proper tool for it. Uh, the one shown in the video covers a lot of injectors, but not all of them. Um, there are specific ones. These Toyota and Lexus uh, use a specific uh, size tool that we make as well. Uh, the Optimax uh, air injectors also use another size. But all the tools work the same way. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, and good luck.